Hi, I'm Lucy and welcome to my channel. Yes, I'm Arab. I'm gonna say this again. Yes, I'm Arab. I'm from Lebanon, so I'm Arab. Okay, today in this video, I want to talk about the misconceptions and the things maybe you didn't know about Arabs. So, first of all, I want to say this. Not all Arabs are Muslims. I'm a Christian. I'm from Lebanon. Actually, 45% of Lebanese people are Christians. It's true that Islam is the dominant religion of Arab people, but it does, doesn't really mean that all Arabs are Muslims. I mean, most of the time when you say Arab, then you just get in your mind, oh, this woman wearing a scarf or something. Where do you see the scarf now? Where? There is 22 Arab countries. Sometimes I hear people saying there's five, sometimes there's 50, no, there's 22 from them, Libya, um, Lebanon, Syria, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, there are a lot of countries. And it is true that we all talk in Arabic, but from country to country, the accents are really so different. The only similarity is that we all use the modern standard Arabic, which is written in books and in newspaper, speeches, but we don't really use it in our daily life. No, not all Arabs write camels. It's so funny to talk about this, but I never really see camels anywhere here. Like I just seen a camel once in my life. No, Arabs don't really live in tents, don't really ride camels. Maybe in some parts of the desert they do. And no, not all Arab countries are in the desert. Lebanon is not in the desert, for example. I don't really see any desert in here. Not all Arabs wear traditional clothes, all right? you type on Google Arabs, you find people who are wearing traditional clothes. However, this dress code is prevalent in the Gulf Arab countries, which translates 25% of Arabs. And other countries just dress casually. The Arabs love food. I mean, who doesn't? And usually all the family sits on one table and start eating. Maybe you didn't know that hummus, falafel, kebab, Tabbouleh are Arab foods. The family is the center of Arab social activities. Arabs have a very strong familial connections with each other and we try as much as possible to keep it stronger and stronger. We love all eating together, drinking together, discussing together, watching TV together, going out together and obviously celebrating together. Arabs are everywhere because a lot of Arabs immigrated to other countries. I found here a list of people you may know that are from Arab origins, like Carlos Slim Hello. I don't really know how to pronounce the words not in Arabic because their names are in Arabic, so I'll just pronounce it as I always do. Carlos Slim Hello, who is a Lebanese origin, uh, Carlos Ghassan, who is Lebanese origin. Gigi Hadid and Bella Hadid, which are Palestinians origin. Salma Hayek, who is Lebanese origin. Khalil Gibran, Lebanese origin. Jay Khaled, who is a Palestinian origin. Edward Said, Palestinian origin. So most of them are Palestinian and Lebanese origins. Takira, who is Lebanese origin. Habibi, the word Habibi. I have heard this word multiple times I'd be like, what does this mean? This means my love, my dear. A lot of people use this word, not really, but yeah, we say like, hello my dear, hello my love. So if you hear someone using it, it is normal. We use it here all the time, like, hello my love, hello Habibi. So yeah, hope you like this video. If you want maybe a part two of this video, just tell me in the comments down below and tell me what you didn't really know about Arabs. Maybe, maybe I helped you knowing some new informations. Well, I would really be happy to know that. If you like this video, please put thumbs up, subscribe to our new videos because it will really mean a lot to me. Don't really forget to press the notification bell because YouTube is doing that thing again that is not notifying my subscribers when I upload new videos, so please do it. And hope you have a nice day and a nice week, and goodbye!